Hey, just wanted to give you guys a little reminder that the, uh, the New Orleans Bourbon Festival is coming up soon. Of course, you know Sarah and I will be there and we'd love to share a drink with you or soak up some knowledge at one of the seminars. I mean, seriously, this is a bourbon trip that we look forward to all year long. It's really one of our favorites. Connoisseur and tasting tickets are available now at nobourbonfest.com. We really hope to see you there. It's March 20th through the 23rd. It's the 2019 New Orleans Bourbon Festival. Hope to see you there. All right, now let's drink some bourbon. It's bourbon night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah? What's this guy right here? This is Weller Special Reserve. Special Reserve. Now, what's so special about it? And um, why is it reserved? Well, it's not. I mean, it is, but I think no, it's, it's all in the name, Chad. It didn't um, used to be reserved. No, it didn't. What's so special about it? Well, it's weeded, so there's that. Um, it's in the W.L. Weller line, which at the very tip top is the William LaRue Weller Ooh. Buffalo Trace Antique Collection. BTAC. This would be where it all starts at the bottom, <laughs> works our way up. We got Start several. Start from the bottom, now we hit. Yeah, I wish I was there. Right. This little guy, 90 proof. You know, said mm -hmm. it's not age dated. Rumor has it. It's yeah. Six or seven years old. Six or seven years old. Weeded mash bill from Buffalo Trace. They only have one weeded mash bill. So that means this is the same mash bill as the famed Pappy Van Winkle. So I think that's, you know, why everyone goes crazy. That's why people started going crazy over Weller 12 year. Mm -hmm. Then when they couldn't find that Weller antique. Then when they couldn't find that, that this, this guy. guy. Cause I remember. <laughs> Tell us a when I spin first, us a yarn. When, when I first started oh, my cracking. bourbon journey. Ooh. No, no cork. No cork. Um, I had gotten like a one seven five of this. Like I would just walk in the store and be like, mine. <laughs> and so, well, like mine. the same thing with Elmer T. Lee. I was just like, ooh, I'll take one of these two and a Stag Junior. At Christmas time one year, I was like, I'll have all of these. Thank you. What a treat for me. Um, that was probably twenty. 14, 2015? Sorry, it's Thanks. shot off. <laughs> but yeah, so it's been a while since uh, that was the case. Now it's hard, you can't hardly find this on the shelf. And it's limit one per customer usually. In Kentucky, yes, it's yeah. always limit one. Now sometimes we travel to other states and this is on the shelf, which I think is cool for them. Um, yeah. I think it's something that should be on the shelf that's Pretty, pretty standard. I think so, yeah. Um, much like you, I can remember when I could walk into a store, find this on the bottom shelf for $19. Now when you find it, it's going to be closer to 25 I feel yeah. like. That's still um, a good price for this port, though. Yeah, I think so. so. We, did, we did mash bill, but this used to be considered, if it isn't still, a bottom shelf bourbon. I know, right? Hence the screw cap. It right. got a makeover in recent years. This it is did. the new label. I think it's very pretty. We still have some of those old label bottles laying around here somewhere. I mean, that's just your classic, your Light, classic Buffalo toasty, Trace. Toasty, caramel, yeah, yeah sweet, sweet smell. Very, yeah, very sweet smell. Yeah. It smells like it's gonna be nice and buttery and silky on mm -hmm. the tongue. It's nice. Let's go in yeah, for the taste let's go. here. Super mellow, sweet, but it's got some, the oak influence enough on the back end where it's still, you know, I'm surprised actually that it's been a while since I've really thought about this. Cause you know, right. you take some of these things for granted. Sure. And I haven't thought about Weller Special Reserve in a while, but yeah. I feel like for the price, when you can find it, it's a great deal. I mean, it's got that 90 proof. It's weeded. Yeah. It's sweet, but it's got the oak influence. It doesn't have that bottom shelf burn that people <laughs> would associate with yeah. the lower, the more value bottles. Yeah. I mean, this is the same proof as Buffalo Trace, and I feel like Buffalo Trace is kind of in that same category. Mm -hmm. You know, it's yeah. just a 90 proofer, and we say that because, you know, we like to kind of start at 90, 86, 90, mm -hmm. and go up from there. Not that you can't enjoy a nice 80 proof. No. And once yeah, upon totally. a time, we enjoyed a nice 80 proof. Sure. So yeah, I feel like it's kind of in the realm as the as the Buffalo Trace bottle. This is mm -hmm. just kind of their their weeded version of it. And it, it used to be, when it was so readily available, you're going to just to hang out, you would grab a bottle of Weller, and right. it was fine. Now, if you bring a bottle of Weller, people are going to be like, ooh, ooh. Uh, well, <laughs> someone uh, camped out or, you know. Yeah, something. Went on a hunt. It's so easy, though. You're right. I mean, like. This is great. This is something I would pull out at a party and just be like, yeah, here for whatever you want to use it for. Mix yeah. it, put it over ice, drink it straight, do whatever you want. I like how you are still getting the barrel influence mm -hmm. at 90 proof. It's nice, right? Yeah. On the uh -huh. finish, you get the, all the sweetness up front and you get that barrel on the finish. And I think it really maintains a lot of character 
and balanced, even though it's proof down to 90. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Got that nice oak flavor, a little bit of caramel, nice overall, not really heat, but a nice. A couple sips in, I get a tiny. Tiny hug? Like, just a teeny tiny hug. It's more like a, like an acquaintance, <laughs> like an okay. acquaintance hug when you just, okay. you don't like touch. You just Sure, kind of, you do the side arm. The si side hug, yeah. This. That's so, the kind of Kentucky hug. It has a sidearm Kentucky hug. It's actually got a pretty decently long finish. Mm -hmm. it stays on, I would say, front to middle, encroaching on the back of your tongue, mm -hmm. but not fully on the back. Right. Yeah, but it's it got a nice little tongue dance. For longer on. than I would expect, it yeah. hangs out. Yeah, for sure. You know, I feel kind of bad. I feel like I've kind of brushed this over, aside. Overlooked this one recently? For, yeah, overlooked it recently for yeah. the 12 and the antique. You know, when we have those, I'm, I'm less likely to pick this up. And now I'm like, but why was I so mean? Right. <laughs> What's wrong with me? We've talked a lot about the pros. There are a few cons. It's it's a little bit of a one noter. It's a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's not it's not super complex, nor would you expect it to be at mm -mm. that price point. But I would still call it special. And I would call it reserved <laughs> now. <laughs> Again, yeah, the cons list, it's like I'm like, hmm, what to say about it that's bad? I don't know. The availability. I think that <laughs> And I think, you know, when you consider the availability, you can get something like Larceny, which is also weeded and sits on the shelf for $22. So if you're real upset that you can't get this, maybe try that. And mm -hmm. it's 92 proof. 92 proof, yeah. two proof points higher, about the same price, and it's readily available. So sure. yeah. that's the only thing that's unfortunate is that it's not ready, readily available and... I mean, obviously it's easy to drink. It's very it's easy to gone. drink, yeah. It's, you know... I think this is a perfect start out your evening. One or two completely glasses of this. If you started, I don't know, 100, 110, up there in that range, and then went to this, it's gonna taste thin. Right. And right off the bat, you can you can be like, it's again that that one note, but it's a really strong, good, it's a good classic note. note. But if you really get analytical about it, sure, it is a little bit thin. But for the price, mm. um, and if you love weeders, if you want something that's smooth, mm -hmm. again, the absence of the rye is letting the sweetness of the corn show through, then I think this is a really good option, a really good choice. I think it's a great choice, and I can see, yeah. after revisiting it, why it doesn't stay on the shelf. Sure. It's absolutely. very tasty. Yeah, people have started to bunker this, for sure. Oh, well. I mean, I've got a couple bottles. Yeah, don't. Uh, what do you mean, people have started to bunker people, this? You people, you people. You are one of the people. When you point one finger, you've got three pointing back at you. That's, he did it, it's his fault. Only a couple, I don't get <laughs> crazy. In fact, when I find one, I do, do usually pick it up, but then I call on my hand phone uh, a couple of my buddies who like it and like, hey, I got a bottle, do you want it for what I paid for it? So you're just Because they have a hard time. They don't go to the liquor stores as often as I do. So yeah. I help them out. <laughs> um, so definitely recommend, boom, there you go. Boom. And, oh, um, con, I wish I had a cork. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, I thought of it. Do you though? Because a lot of people have been like, you know, Japanese whiskey, none of them use corks because you could have cork cork rot or cork taint. But I like the cork pop when we do uncorkings. I know. It just makes you feel less special when it's just... I'm okay with it, but I wish it did. I don't know. I mean, uh, Weller CYPB has a cork. I like the sexy William bottle. LaRue Weller has a cork. Yeah. Yeah, why they get a cork? But still Weller, Weller 12 doesn't. You deserve a cork. <laughs> you deserve a cork. <laughs> Cork. All right. Okay, well. But recommend. But recommend, yes. Um, that'll do it for us. Uh, if you like what we're bringing to the table, please hit that subscribe button. You can also hit the bell notification so you are notified when we post and go live. We do it bi-weekly, but that means we do it twice a week. Not every other week. Yeah, some people, I don't. I still don't get that bi-weekly. I never, for, it's not fortnightly. Not fortnightly, <laughs> not fortnightly. Twice a week. Mm. Uh, you can also uh, go to our Patreon page and see the different perks and levels and how you can mm -hmm. uh, watch some bonus things and audio wise as well. That's patreon.com slash it's bourbonite. What else we got uh, there? You can find these Tribeca glasses on our Amazon influencer page. It's amazon.com slash shop slash it's bourbonite. There you go. Got lots of fun little treats on there for you. And you can follow us on all of our social media channels at it's bourbonite. Boom. Well, that will do it for us. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Until next time. Drink more bourbon.